Hi everyone, it's Mola aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and we're back with a single green whiskey and I really have to send out a massive thank you to my dear friend Kevin who borrowed me this lovely James ED to try for you guys so massive massive thank you to you Kev and what we have today is of course the James ED which is an independent bottler uh, this is a 26 year old canvas it is at 55.4% ABV and it's the first canvas I've ever tried that's been matured in a sherry butt. And just look at its lovely, lovely colour. I also love that on the back of this bottle it says that Scotland has a secret whisky, which is the single green. And I just love that because I think a lot of people that drink scotch um, and think of scotch whisky, they don't think of green whisky, which is such a shame because I do think it has such a massive part of the scotch whisky history and such lovely flavours to be explored as well. So James Eady, who gave the name to this lovely independent bottler, was a Scottish brewer who established a significant brewery in 1854. And the Eady family also had their own recipe for a Scotch whisky blend. And the man today behind the James Eady company, the CEO of the company, is his great great grandson. Um, so it's still in the family and I do think they do a good job of focusing on both better known and less known Scotch whisky distilleries so it'll be very interesting to try this. Like I said it's a 26 year old canvas and canvas is of course a distillery that is no longer operating sadly enough because it is one of my favourite canvas <laughs> favourite grain distilleries um, but definitely interesting to see these older whiskies that might have an interesting twist like the sherry influence here as well. And of course this bottle is bottled at cast strength, it's not been chill filtered and it's all natural colour which is uh, absolutely stunning. So let's have a little nose. Definitely shared on the nose. But it's slightly weird, it's so leathery. Leathery and sweet, so still that raisin note but very kind of leathery and earthy. A very kind of tropical honeydew melon sweetness. And definitely some kind of baked fruits. Super interesting. Let's have a little taste of Slangeva. Oh my, it's such a sherry bomb. But a lovely sherry bomb. Still has those earthy, leathery tones, which for me just makes the, the sherry influence just so much more enjoyable. It's just a burst of flavour. It has a drying sensation but it's super super mouth-watering. But just a slight drying sensation on the tip of your tongue. Along with this super kind of tropical exotic spice. And that melon sweetness as well. That just makes it feel so juicy. Wow. What a dram. Because I was super curious. I didn't know if a, a canvas in sherry would make me like it more or less. Turns out to be more. It's, it's beautiful. There's that kind of clove spice. I really, really a sherry bomb. It's, it's really well balanced because I think grain whiskey has a tendency to be quite smooth and quite like a, of course you use it almost like a blank canvas in blends with the the single malt are like the colours but I'm, I'm just so impressed by grain whiskies on their own, like single grain whiskies because they bring so much flavour, so much sweetness and they can really take on a lot of that oak character that is stunning but I still think you get a lovely base of that spirit coming through because sometimes I think sherry bombs are overly sherried um, and almost just takes away the spirit character and makes it a little bit less enjoyable just for me personally but I think this here it just has that balance straight on it's um, <laughs> stunning so thank you Kev for letting me try this you like melons and cloves and you have a bit of orange if I close my eyes it's almost like you're sitting having this dram in like a a hot climate country when it's like a sunset and you have like all these fresh fruits on a platter and 
Yeah, it's definitely like if you sit in a hot country like Spain, for example, in the summer and you drink PX, that's kind of the same feeling that I get from this drama. It's just such a deserty, sweet but interesting and complex flavour. Um, I really wish everyone would go, get to try this uh, really, really brilliant expression from James E.D. But I would, of course, love to hear if you've tried any canvases or if you've tried anything else from James E.D. Please let me know in the comments here below. And as always, if you like this video, feel free to like it as well. Give it a little thin, a thumbs up. Uh, and remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the upcoming videos that I have. But as always, have a lovely day. Slanjava, skoel. Mm -hmm.